Hello everybody, this is DJ aka Last Benevolence and I'm here with a video update on the development progress of T.O.T.E. The Tales of the Elements. Now I guess we could have shared an update about a month or two ago but I decided to wait until we were able to wrap up a few more things because I personally felt it would have been a little underwhelming considering that we're months behind schedule. And then Kimmy and I got real sick with COVID about a week and a half ago, so th that's also pushed this update a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'm still mildly sick with COVID, so excuse me if my voice sounds just a little bit off. Yeah, <clears throat> this has definitely been a learning experience. Uh, for Astroverse, I'm definitely gonna make sure uh, to give the project a ton of extra time for its development schedule. And hopefully by then, we can either fund that with TOTE sales or raise enough to keep the lights on while we're working on it. Now things have been going a lot slower than expected with us running into unexpected issues porting the game systems into the new engine. On top of that, Glenn has been spending time being a brand new full-time daddy while Kimmy and I had to take up some part-time work to continue self-funding the project. But we've been pushing through just as promised. A few months ago, we finally reached the milestone of breaking into the new engine with the converted project files and partially converted battle system. Now, that's just as great as it sounds because it means that we can actually start up the game and view a cutscene or two or fool around a bit and test certain things like the visuals. But there's still a ton of bugs and features to fix. For more on that, Glenn has the breakdown and you can find all the little details in the Kickstarter update post that comes with this video. After finishing up the first promotional piece of artwork for the project, Kimmy's been hard at work on the backer specific art. <clears throat> These were for the higher tier backers, all of which are characters that were requested for the backers uh, custom made t-shirts and most of which were also characters requested to make an appearance in the game as well. She's not quite finished with the custom artwork for the higher tier backers yet, but once she is, she'll be moving on to some of the art for the in-game portraits of the rest of the characters that are important to the story. Did I mention that I decided to animate the in-game portraits? I wanted to give them a bit of a classic Sega Genesis feel, so I decided to give them the old Shining Force treatment. Shout out to Hawkwind Studio for coding the outsource plugin for that. Once Kimmy's done with the backer artwork and portraits, she'll be moving back towards making more promotional art, starting with the remake of the original Tales of the Elements poster. Speaking of posters, we have 50 prints of the first poster just sitting in a box here in the game room, and we finally got the shipping material ready to go, so if you backed for a tier that included a poster, or if you requested a poster additionally to whatever tier you backed, Expect a message from me sometime around the time I post this update because once I got everything together, I realized that I needed some shipping info from you guys. Now on to some gameplay related stuff. The uh, OG battle system for the original Tales of the Elements was good, but it had its flaws and we wanted to make some adjustments specifically for the new TOTE. One of those adjustments had to do with the HUD. While the old HUD was serviceable, we wanted to try something new that not only felt unique and fit in with the theme of the game, but also something that would help us to fit assigned buttons near the rest of each of the character's information on screen, so that we could possibly fit everything for up to four players later on. So I came up with the idea of making the in-game HUD look like an NPC, which if you don't know, already know, is a drum pad that holds samples and is widely used by many hip-hop producers. Glenn even took it a bit further by making the HP and MP bars animated sound bars, which looks highly dope if I do say so myself. But to be honest, we're not completely sure about how it all looks together quite yet. We, we want to keep the NPC concept, but nothing's quite final yet, so feel free to leave some feedback on that. While everything's been coming along really well, the 
music in my opinion has been the highlight for this video update i've decided to include a short video reel of some progress made on the game with some the snippets of the ost thrown in for you guys to listen to while you check it out my natural state of Like he was 90 more than 7 Years of age but behaved like he was 11 Imagine this little geezer selling lies Claiming the touch of his dust would enhance his rhymes Fell right into this trap Talk about a dive Turn in this young boy Finally, I've saved the best for last Since the last update I've not only completed a somewhat buggy playable prototype build of Astro vs Quest demo, but I've also given TOTE's demo a huge update with story adjustments that makes it play out as the official prequel to, to the full game. Of course, for both demos, I highly recommend playing with Xbox PC gamepads. But for now, that's what we have for our update on TOTE, The Tales of the Elements. Feel free to leave any comments or questions or even suggestions and uh, let us know what you think and I'll be putting in an effort to make more updates including video updates like this one. 